Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn a very important concept known as API, which is short form of application programming interface. So today we'll be learning two very similar concepts, API and what is a web API. Just both terms are very much interlinked to each other. API is a term which should be well aware to all the people who are working in a software industry. So let's dive into what is an API. So API is a software intermediary that allow two application to talk to each other. API is a concept which every language makes uses of. So it doesn't depend on which programming language you are coding in. It can be Python, it can be Java, it can be C, it can be any language. But API is the concept which will remain constant in each and every language. To understand what is an API, let's understand it with an example. So imagine that you are sitting in a restaurant and you order some food. To order some food, you will give the order to the waiter. The waiter will take your order to the kitchen. The kitchen will cook the food. Once the food is cooked, the kitchen will tell the waiter to bring that to the customer. So now the role that the waiter is playing over here is the same role which the API plays between the two applications. So let's take a real world example. So everyone uses Instagram. So whenever you are scrolling through the Instagram and whenever you like some reel or some photo, you hit the like button. Okay, so whenever you hit the like button or you double tap on your screen, so one request is made which API takes and bring back to the server. The server will do some processing and store it in the database and it will bring back to the API and API will show that it is it has been liked with the red heart in the Instagram. This is the all the processing that happens in the background. So now that you might have got a fair bit of understanding what is an API and understand what is a web API. An API, which is an interface for a web, is called Web API. That's it. This is that simple. So these both terms are very much interlinked. Whenever you use an API, which is an interface for a web, it's called a Web API. So, so let's understand this. So let's see the what all components we have right now. We have our client. We have our Web API. We have our application, the server in which the code is written. It could be Python. It could be Python framework known as Django, Flask. Pyramid, it could be Java, it could be PHP, Laravel or anything. Okay, so now whenever a client make an HTTP request to an API, the API will take that request and bring to the server. Or the server will uh, demand database if, the, uh, if that uh, request want. They will do some processing and bring the response back to the API and API will show the response back to the client. This is the whole part which happens in the application. So I hope that you might have understood what is an API and what is a web API. If you have any kind of a query, if you have any kind of a doubt, you could post in the comment. So now we understood the theory of the API, that like how the API work. But there are some kind of conventions that we use in an API, which is known as the REST conventions, REST API or RESTful API. So we'll be learning that in our next video. If you like the video, if you like the concept, if you understood how this API works and everything, subscribe to our channel and see you in next video. Till then, take care.